more money than I don't accept My name is Thomas and this is a 2019 Nissan Maxima. The Maxima is the top of the food chain on the Nissan lineup of cars, obviously excluding the 370Z as well as the GTR, as those will be quicker, but those are purpose-built sport cars. This is as good as it gets with Nissan when it comes to a car that is luxurious and fast. In fact, the Maxima is so fast that it is known as a sports sedan, also known as a four disc, which means 4DSC, which stands for four door sports car. The Altima and the Maxima are quite similar. The Altima is right underneath the Maxima on the Nissan lineup of cars, but there's one thing that sets them apart. While the Altima has an inline for 2.5 liter engine, this has a 3.5 liter V6. Both, of course, naturally aspirated. And that brings me to all of the facts, as in this video, I'm gonna be going over all the facts, features, pros, cons, as well as my thoughts and opinion. All of the facts and numbers about the Maxima are on screen right now, and if you're a numbers person like me, then pause it right now so you can look over these. Of course, I wanna maximize your time as a viewer. Now, don't worry if you didn't read all of that, because I'm gonna be going over some of those details later on in this video. But for now, there are a few more things I wanna go over. The Maxima comes in three separate trim levels. The first of those is SL. Now SL stands for standard luxury, but the way I like to think about it is so long losers because it is so f***ing fast. Now while the SL version is the lowest of the three trim levels, it still blows my mind how fast it is because it comes with the same engine that the other two do as well. The 3.5 liter V6 engine that puts out 300 horsepower and also because the SL is the base model, it'll get you the base price, which on the Maxima in 2019 in Canada, keep in mind, is 41 $1,140. If you're over in America, the numbers are going to be way lower than that. And yes, all of us are very jealous. At that price, you still get a double sunroof, the premium Bose Audio 11 speaker setup, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a remote start, backup camera, LED lights almost everywhere, a heated steering wheel, heated front seats, heated back seats, and much, much more. And that brings me to the other two trim levels with the Maxima. The second is the SR, which stands for sportier ride. And the third and the top of the line is what's called the Platinum. And that is what this is. But I wanna make it very clear that the SR and the Platinum almost go off in different directions. And I don't wanna stack them as if the Platinum is better than the SR because they come with different features. The SR obviously going for more to the sporty feel and the Platinum is going for more of the luxury feel. Let me explain. Some of the features that you'll find on the SR that you won't find on the Platinum include paddle shifters, the sport suspension, the sport spoiler, and the aluminium sport pedals. As for the Platinum, you get heated and cooled front seats with upgraded premium leather, the bird's eye view camera system, power steering column, lane departure prevention, upgraded trim, and many other features that you'd expect on a high-end, top-of-the-line luxurious sports sedan. Now on to the pros. I think the Maxima is the definition of a happy medium car. If you think about it, it's got the luxurious aspect, it has the fast aspect, it fits five people, there's loads of room in the back. I mean, watch this. I'm six foot four and that wasn't even challenging. And at the end of the day, the whole point of Maxima is to be just a better version of the Ultima in every single way. A little bit more luxurious, a lot faster, more power, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that they have absolutely nailed that because this Maxima has a better weight to power ratio than a BMW 3 Series for significantly less money. But no more Mr. Nice Guy, it's time to talk about some of the cons. The first thing that really bugs me is the 
brakes. Now on this as a sports sedan, you should have more powerful brakes than when you get on the Maxima. I feel like I'm stepping on SpongeBob when I'm using them. I expect a lot more from them. The one thing I think the BMW 3 Series would have over this is braking. I can imagine braking one of those is gonna be stopping on a dime. On this, not so much. Nissan, you can do better. And the second thing is a pet peeve more than anything else. It's something that just annoys me and that you don't find on a lot of new cars nowadays, especially in 2019, and it's the seatbelt chime. Let's just say you're coming down your driveway and you take your seatbelt off, the Maxima explodes at you. It gets unbelievably angry. Most cars will just light up the red logo on the dash to let you know, hey, your seatbelt's off. I recommend that you put it back on. Some of them will have a gentle ding. This one is loud, obnoxious, angry, and relentless. It never stops, and it is the most annoying thing in the world. But I think that maybe that's just me that it annoys because after all, the number one video on this channel is me showing you how to turn off your annoying chimes for your seatbelt. Again, I think that's just my pet peeve, not necessarily a huge con, but I promise you the next one actually is. The next con is around the exhaust tips. Now, usually you'd have chrome exhaust tips on a Camaro or a Mustang or whatever it may be. And on a car like this, you'd expect something very similar. But in fact, Nissan has kind of gone behind your back. It looks like you have chrome tips on this, but actually, if you look at it from a low enough angle, you see that the pipe is on the inside and that the chrome pieces that you see that make it look like there are four tips to the exhaust is actually just cheap plastic that's attached to the rear bumper cover. And that's not the end of the world, but once you find that out, it kind of ruins the classy feel of the Maxima. And last but not least, I want to share my opinion and thoughts around the Maxima. I've been driving this car for about a week now, and from the first time I sat inside of it and started driving it, I've had nothing but fun and good memories. This car is a blast and it doesn't get boring. It's so quick that often you find yourself going way faster than you think you're going. It's quick and yet it still fits five people quite comfortably and as I've already demonstrated by fitting my body in the back, there is tons of storage. I was even able to fit a dozen balloons in the back with relative ease. And all the fancy features keep you safe and make sure that your ride is as fun, easy, and enjoyable as possible. And I shouldn't really have to say this because it is a low down sporty car, but if you're 6'4 or over, then I'm gonna caution you about driving one of these cars because getting in and out of it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Once you're in, it's fine, it's just getting in and out because it is so low down. And as a fun fact for those of you that own a Maxima or are about to own a Maxima, if you hit the sport button, you may feel the difference, which is unbelievable. It feels like you're about to start traveling through time you're going so quickly, but maybe you don't actually know what it does. And same thing when you put your foot all the way down and you feel a click when you get to the bottom of the pedal. I want to explain what both of those are. The sport button basically just shortens the throttle response. So instead of it being this long, it's now this long. So when you're not in sport mode and you put your foot halfway down, it's kind of the same thing as putting sport mode on and then putting your foot maybe a quarter of the way down. Basically, it just makes you accelerate faster by mashing your foot more for you, if that makes sense. And sort of similar when it comes to putting your foot all the way down and mashing it so you feel that click at the bottom of the pedal. Basically, Basically what that does is it encourages the transmission to shift down a gear so you can drop a gear and disappear. But that's it for me. That is everything that you need to know as fast as possible about the 2019 Nissan Maxima. You can thank Fish Creek Nissan for this video as they lent me this vehicle. I linked all their social media down in the description below. Go check them out and show them some love or this video wouldn't have been possible. And also feel free to stop by on Instagram and check me out at official Thomas Warren. And if you enjoy what I do here on this channel, feel free to like and subscribe. My name is Thomas and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, I found the subwoofers.